Dana Coverstone dreamed about September. It's September now. Dana's asking for all of us to pray for our preachers. On Facebook, he goes on every day in the morning and prays. So follow him on Facebook if you want to pray with Dana. But on the other end of the spectrum, pray comes with praise. We need to praise our God. We need to praise Him and thank Him because He does answer prayers. Our God answers prayer. People in the world need to know. Non-believers need to know. God answers prayer. He does answer prayer. People that are saying, yeah, right, God will answer my prayer. No, He won't. Yes, He will. I promise you that He will. I would love to start a hashtag called hashtag God answered my prayer. Well, I'm not starting it. It's already out there, but I would like to add to it. I would like to add to it. So for people that don't believe that God answers prayer or someone that stumbles upon this can go to that hashtag, God answered my prayer, and read them. Read the prayers. If you have a channel, a YouTube channel, or able to make a video, make a video on YouTube. Title it whatever you want to and add hashtag God answered my prayer just so people have somewhere they can go to see that God does answer prayer he does answer prayer and in praising God we need to praise him we need to take back what the enemy is trying to take from us now the enemy is trying to take all the joy all of our faith he's trying to take all of our faith away from us right now we can't let him do that so have faith don't lose your faith have childlike faith i was listening to a pastor this morning that said bring back your childlike faith do you know what that means that means when you were a young christian or just learning about maybe david and goliath or Noah in the ark or just the Bible stories or maybe testimonies that people talk to you about what God does how excited you were do you remember how excited you were when you would maybe walk out of church thinking wow my God is so great when you were a new Christian and it was like all fresh and brand new bring that back focus that back to Maybe the day you were young or that day you got saved and you were so excited you were going to live for God and you were going to tell the world about God because God is the greatest thing in the world and you were excited to tell them. Tell them. Tell people. Tell people about God. Don't be afraid to share your faith. Share your faith. If you have a platform, share your faith because God answers prayer. You have to believe that. I do. I do in my life because God has answered prayers for me. I have seen him answer prayer for other people. I have seen it happen in real time that it's like, wow. Or if you're praying for something and it's not happened yet, don't give up. That's when you need to have faith. I had a prayer that it took 20 years for God to answer, but he answered it. He did it. And the minute that that prayer was answered, there was a little, little, little voice in my brain and in my heart that said, I did that for you. I did that for you. So have that faith. Have that faith as we move on in September because it's, it's, it's going to get bad. We all know it's going to get bad with the election time coming and things are going to be happening in the world. It, it's going to, it, it's going to get bad. So let's use that hashtag. Hashtag God answered my prayer. Tell us what God answered in your life. If you want to leave a comment in my comment section, how God answered your prayer and hashtag it, God answered my prayer down there. I would love to read it. I would love to read it. I've been reading comments on these videos. And some of them have just blessed my heart. They've totally blessed my heart people there there's communication going in the comment section and whether you agree or disagree that's okay you can have a discussion but it it's truly blessed my heart just to read what people have written about their God so in these months to come remember God is there he is always there with you you may not feel his presence around you all the time but he's always there for you 
And if you don't know who God is, or if you want God in your heart, but you don't know how to do it, in my description, I'm going to link the sinner's prayer. If you pray that prayer and believe that prayer, and that God is in your heart, and you want to live for God, and you want to move forward in your life with God, He'll do that for you. But remember, it's not always going to be rainbows and sunshine. It's not always going to be like that. You're going to have bad times still. God doesn't just make your world perfect. That's not that that's not going to happen. God gives you the faith to believe you can get through whatever you're going to get through. And God leads you through it. There's a, a footprints. Have you ever seen the the footprints poem where the footprints in the sand there's footprints before you and you're walking God is walking before you he's leading you through whatever you're going through always know just lean on him trust in him and you'll get through anything so in my description I'll put the sinner's prayer also if you want to share your faith your story how God answered your prayer Remember the hashtag, God answered my prayer. Put it in there. And if you want to go read some of the prayers God has answered, maybe on YouTube, maybe there might be some videos, click on the hashtag. Go watch their videos and see what God has done for them. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.